there's, there's nothing to compare if you do a rally <coughs> that you and your, your friends have built the car completely and, it, and you have a good result. There's nothing like that. You can hire a car, but you still wouldn't have the same feeling inside as when you, you build the car yourself. So that, that's, that's why we do it, really. And it's, it's also good uh, with the World Rally cars. It's, you've got something to aim for, um, to beat, really, which has been really good fun over the last 10, 15 years. <laughs> The Ferrari and the Alfa engine is when I had went down to a friend's place, he had a written off Ferrari and an old rusty Alfa. And <clears throat> I just thought, wouldn't that be great? The Ferrari engine in the Alfa, that would be great. So that's what I did. Made an offer for it. And he said yes. And um, so then we went to work and put the, the engine in the Alfa. And because they're both Italian, it just seemed to be right. <laughs> We got to the to where we could with two wheel drive, and then of course four wheel drive became very big. Uh, so we thought we had to go four wheel drive. So that's been sidelined. That's that's in a shed at home in the farm, probably with the hens in it. Uh, so then we built the Peugeot, uh, which uh, at its time you've got to remember this car is 12 years old. At its time it was quite. Uh, forward for a four-wheel drive car but now it's sort of behind all the other four-wheel drive cars um, so there was a lot of new things we tried on this that hadn't been tried before which was quite exciting and it but it's taken us a few years to sort it out a, lo a lot of people just think we turn up to an event with a car that's just been prepared for us uh, what they don't see is the background of what goes in for this car and the work that the boys put in and last year we had a different type of engine uh, and this engine we had to rebuild every rally nearly because it's such a, a highly strung engine it used to rev to 11,000 rpm which used to sound lovely on rallies and everybody used to love it but the, the work that went into maintaining that engine um, as you can see we went through all these cylinder heads loads of pistons and this was every rally we had to take it apart and put it back together um, it was worth it when you're in the car singing down a stage, but when you have to do it every rally, it did get a bit, a bit tedious. <laughs> this is where we build uh, all the engines, gearboxes, everything is made in here. Uh, with the other engine, we were in there so many times, as I said, that um, somebody called this the Room of Dread because we went in there too many times. But this is where it all happens in here. This engine we got in now is more like a production V6 Cosworth, so it only revs to 9. Uh, but because it's a production engine, the MSA have allowed us to go to 2.9 litres, so we've gained 400 cc. So we're not much less horsepower than the old engine, but of course it's a lot more reliable. <laughs> been trained as an engineer but on a farm you're always dealing with machinery and you're always fixing stuff so it, it evolves from there and most of it comes out of logic really and as the years go on you learn not to do that and do that and, th and that's how this present car has been done really um, and it's not just me of course I have a there's a group of people I have that came and they they do it for nothing they come in the evenings and we just have a good time doing it so I hope it continues. Yeah, well, I love driving as well, so I've got that added advantage. And also, I feel that because I understand the car, how it works, that we can alter things to, to gain that bit, whereas it's nice being a driver and an engineer. But which side of it uh, helps me the most, I don't know, and no one else knows. <laughs> Shelley's been with me for a couple of years now. Uh, Shelley's only 22 or 23. Um, she loves it, absolutely loves it, which is great to have that passion as well as us. And she's very good. Uh, and we're hoping to do all the BTRDA rounds because 
the Ancro Championship, which is the one we usually do, has gone to a controlled tyre, which is Pirelli, which obviously was sponsored by Dunlop, so uh, we have to stay <coughs> with Dunlop, so we're going to do the VTRDA, which I'm really looking forward to doing. <laughs> No, no, because, uh, well, it's, it's another stepping stone and the money goes times a hundred and I just don't think that we get the enjoyment we do out of doing the, the rallies like the Dean and the local rallies around here. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just my hobby and that's what I've just said. That's, just, that's all I want to do is to that level. And um, as long as they keep letting me enter, I'll keep doing it. Have you had any offers to, to move up? No, no. No, I've been waiting by the phone for 15 years and phone's never rung now. <laughs> so you're, you're perfectly happy doing, doing what you do? Yes, because yeah. it, it's, it's, it's something, you have your work, which is farming with mine, and then it's something to look forward to, so that's what rallying is, it's my hobby. So. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,